what's this there's just so many other what's the word oh my god what is it what is up you guys and i just wanted to pop in here real quickly i'm sorry about the glare on my glasses but i need the glasses right now um, but i just wanted to pop in real quickly before i carry on with this video to let you guys know that this little announcement that i've been like keeping for the past 24 hours it feels like a long time but 24 hours <laughs> oh hinky pinks is officially not hinky pinks anymore it's insane i had an epiphany and i decided to change and rebrand hinky pinks completely to be life with sihina and the reason why i did that is because i'm sure a lot of you guys have no idea where hinky pinks even came from and hinky pinks is actually my personal family like nickname um, that everyone calls me but I know that a lot of you guys and a lot of people had no idea what my name was so I decided to change the channel to give a little bit more transparency and to show you guys that you know what this channel is about basically my life and positivity and productivity and beauty and everything it's an exciting new start it's 2020 um, and I hope you guys are gonna love everything that I have to offer this year so let's get into the video that um, you actually clicked on what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and happy new year it is the first Sunday of the New Year, so I thought that I would film this video because it's the first Sunday of the New Year and it's a productivity habits kind of video. So, welcome to the first video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Over here, we're talking all things beauty, productivity, positivity, adulting, and coffee. So, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 20, the, the whole generic 20 things to do in 2020, 20 habits, etc, etc whatever this is but these are basically 20 habits or 20 tips for you to take into 2020 into the whole new decade so that you guys can get your shit together for this year because that's honestly my theme of this year and that is to get my shit together oh so, i don't know what it is this year i'm feeling very pink and candy floss and i really don't like pink so without me rambling so much further let me sip my coffee and let's get straight into this video Tip number one is to wake up early. I know we've all heard it before. It's something that is like in every good habits video, something that's in every article, every productivity video, whatever it is, wake up early. And I'm saying this because I didn't always like waking up early. I wasn't like, I was like a morning person, but I wasn't a wake up early kind of morning person. I now wake up at 4 a.m. every day, except now during the holidays. Don't judge me. But I wake up at 4 a.m. every day so that I can get to gym and I get the biggest chunk of my day out of the way first. And for me, that is my workout. When you do wake up early, you actually have so much extra time. You'd be amazed. If you wake up even 30 minutes or one hour before your usual waking up time, you will have literally a whole chunk of time to yourself. And you with your own mind for a whole full hour before the hustle and bustle and priorities and responsibilities of the day starts. Tip number two is the usual to get moving and get active. So this is again a very generic usual thing but you have no idea how much a small walk in the morning can get your blood pumping and make you so much energetic for the day. Just somehow get your heart pumping so you can get endorphins going. This way you're going to be healthier, you're going to have better skin, you're going to be more energetic. And there's just so many other benefits to just being a little bit active every single day. So tip number three is to try out yoga. I've been doing yoga for about three years now and I'm no expert at it. I just do yoga because it helped out with my anxiety and panic attacks so much by starting yoga. Tip number four is to pack your lunch or start meal prepping. To, towards the last few months of 2019, I started meal prepping. Actually, I started lunch prepping. I didn't meal prep. So I started making my lunch the night before and planning what I was going to eat throughout the week. This had me eating so healthy throughout the week and had me saving so much money. So start meal prepping, start lunch prepping, start planning your grocery shopping ahead so that you know exactly what you're going to eat during the week. Then this way you can save money and eat a lot more 
healthy. Tip number five is to create a self-care routine. Self-care is not selfish you guys that is like something that you just need to get out of your mind because i know it feels a lot selfish when you take time out to do things for yourself but it's not selfish that is one of the things that there should definitely be a priority for yourself every week so every sunday figure out a routine a self-care routine whether it's spending time with your animals doing a face mask a hot bath putting a hair mask on doing a body scrub going for a massage whatever it is come up with a self-care routine which just carves out time out of the week for you to recoup and recharge for the next week but it's also a way of connecting with yourself more if that makes sense and just re-energizing your soul basically that's basically what self-care is taking care of yourself first so that you can carry on with the life does that make sense i should like chill out with the coffee this is my third cup of coffee today Tip number six is to unsubscribe and clear out emails and clear out your phone completely. So I know, I know you have pictures sitting on your phone from like 2015 because I had that. And I didn't need those pictures. Most of them were just like WhatsApp group pictures and stuff like that. So go ahead and just take some time out to clear out your phone completely. Unsubscribe from emails and junk mail that you are getting that you don't need anymore. Your inbox just isn't so crowded and just like yeah <laughs> give your phone a new wallpaper give your phone a new look uninstall apps that you do not use please so do a digital cleanup tip number seven is to create a budget this is something that i have done but i never really stuck to so this year's goal definitely is for me to create a budget and i want you guys also to create a budget and stick to it and this brings me on to tip number eight and that is to spend less on unnecessary things I need to spend less on unnecessary things and invest more of your money. Spend less money on unnecessary things and you will be amazed at the amount of money you actually end up saving. Tip number nine is to get into your cupboards. I'm pointing there because my cupboards are there and clear out everything and get rid of clothes that do not fit you, clothes that are damaged and clothes that you do not wear anymore. Tip number 10 and this is probably my favorite one is to cut out all toxic, toxicity toxicity how do you say the word anyway to cut out all toxic things from your life take everything that's toxic and that eats you up from the inside and makes you question your own life or your own self-worth and get rid of it completely tip number 11 is to make yourself a dream board now it sounds weird you know it really sounds weird but me i'm a very visual person <laughs> So making a dream board is so important. I just made mine for 2020 and I go onto We Hearted or Pinterest and I grab a whole lot of pictures that inspire me. Find stuff that inspires you. Find stuff that actually makes you want to achieve your goals in a real way, if you know what I mean. And make yourself a dream board. Pin it up in your cupboard or even keep it on your phone. Tip number 12 is to eat better and drink more water. This is one of my biggest priorities this year because I did get really sick last year because mainly because of my eating and I was really good for a while and I fell off track in holidays so now I'm going back to square one and we're going to eat better, we're going to eat healthier, we're going to make sure we do not eat the things that the doctors say you're not supposed to eat. Tip number 13 is to read. Just, just read guys. It's a very calming thing to do i wish i had carved out more time to read last year rather than spend time on like tiktok but make it a priority to read this year if you don't like reading get audible books if you don't like audible books get a podcast get something that can educate you or kind of get your mind into a different world every single day tip number 14 is one of my favorite things that i have on this list and that is to spend more time outdoors and spend more time with animals instead of sitting on your ass on a Sunday morning or Saturday morning go for a hike get some friends go for a hike outside go for a walk or you know spend time with your pet step 15 is to believe in something so when you have something that you believe in you know it just it puts your mind on such a good track I don't even know how to explain it so start believing in things believe that your life is gonna turn out great believe that you know you're going to get that promotion just believe that everything is going to be right and look up to something whether you believe in the universe whether you believe in your god whether you believe in just the moon i mean whatever it is find something to believe in and just take it with you through this year tip number 16 is to start a journal very cheesy i know 
but you have so much on your mind so much on your subconscious that you can't say out loud or you can't say to anyone until you put a pen to paper and then then you'll see you'll end up writing like a whole book step 17 is to create smaller realistic goals this year don't go and be like me like last year I want to do this and I want to do that and I never got to it because they were such big goals that I didn't break it down so that it could be a bit more achievable. Step number, uh, sorry, step, <laughs> what? Tip. <laughs> Tip number 18 is to take time out every day to disconnect and just go offline completely from your phone, from the internet, everything. This, it would be a good time to go ahead and read. I kind of put those two together. Tip number 19 is to start something new that you have been putting off for a very very long time if you've been telling yourself that you're gonna do this and that and it just never happened take this year to do it it's a whole new decade you never know what can happen so put your mind to it draw up a plan and get to that thing that you've been wanting to do for a very long time and step number 20 and the final step is to put yourself first so cheesy I know but it is so important make yourself a priority and think about how you're gonna feel about something before you do anything now I'm not saying be like narcissist narcissist I'm so bad at words today but you know what word I'm trying to say and I'm not saying that you should be self-centered or pulled up about anything I'm just saying that it's a small little things that sometimes we forget to actually think about how we feel about something if you know what I mean I've been saying that a lot. I should just like name this channel if you know what I mean. Just be happy. Be happy, smile, wake up with a smile every morning and it'll be a good year, I promise. And that is all the tips that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed. I think 99% of all of these tips are basically goals and things that I'm taking into the new year and I really hope that you guys will too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you follow all of my social medias which will be twinkling down below as usual. That is all for now you guys. Have an amazing week. I will see you all in my next video.